Hello guys and welcome to another episode of biology and today we are going to be looking at enzymes as it is evidently written on the board. Okay, this is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam CBT Practice Application. If you want to pass your exam at once, you need that application. We'll talk about the app in a moment. Let us see a Jam Pass question from the O3 Schools Jam app. This is a biology question using the question search feature. We just type enzyme on question search in biology and then this question came out. Okay, so we have this question and many more questions on the application. You can use that feature to search for question after reading a particular topic or concepts. All right. Now, this is a 2022 question number 35. It says enzymes have the following characteristics except it says enzymes are soluble. B says enzymes are insoluble. C says they are specific in their actions. D says enzymes are sensitive to temperature. All right. So um, uh, we'll come back to this question to answer it because at all three schools, we believe in giving you value first. Let us teach you. And after we have taught you, answering any question will be the list of your problems. All right. So uh, let us go to the board. We'll talk about the app. Uh, we'll talk about enzymes. But before then, make sure you download the application. Okay. Download it. It has all the past questions you need. So you don't need to bother about going to buy any past question outside. Then there's a classroom feature with lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus for all your subjects. So you don't need to go and be buying BB test book. And then what is more, you have also amazing feature like the question search feature which we use to search for that question on enzymes and of course there's a mock challenge on the app every saturday design to what make you what uh, get familiar with jam pass question jam likely exam questions it's a competitive exam so there are prizes every weekend for winners and aside that you'll see your result released every saturday after that mock exam okay which will put you in competitive mode and prepare you towards what the main examination Activation of this application is now up to the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant. So please make sure you download it and make sure you activate it and make sure you start now. Let's talk about enzymes. Okay, enzymes. All right. The human body is a product of many what chemical reactions. Okay, the human body is a is <laughs> is made up of so many what's a product of so many what reactions. All right, but what actually powers this reaction? That is the question that what comes to mind. What actually powers these reactions in the body? There are so many, okay? But what actually powers this reaction? Okay, in 1833, in 1833, okay, a French chemist, a French chemist who was known as Anselm Payen, Okay, it was the one that what that discovered what this vital force that drives what these reactions. Okay, it was the first person, the first person to discover this vital force that what drives what this reaction, and then he called that force what the enzymes. Okay, he called them what the enzymes. So what are enzymes? We say that enzymes are proteins that act as biological catalysts. Okay, they act as what biological catalysts. All right, they speed up what chemical what reactions. All right, so enzymes are what are proteins. They are substances. They may be proteins. They may even be RNA. You know what RNA is, right? It's ribonucleic acid. RNA. They may be ribonucleic acid. Okay, that what. That speed up what chemical what reaction by what by modifying what by modifying substances that were known as what as substrates by modifying substances specific substances that were known as what as substrates okay and how do they do this they do this by what by lowering the reactions activation energy they what they do this by lowering the reactions what activation what energy so that the reaction can what can progress what effectively all right so that is what enzymes okay they are what they are substances proteins some cases they may be ribonucleic what acids all right that what that modify what that will speed up the chemical reactions and modify what substances that were known as what as substrates, okay, and then what make what products out of them, okay. Those are enzymes. Those are enzymes, okay. The molecules upon which enzymes may act, okay, are called what substrates. The molecules of substances, okay, the substances upon what are enz upon which enzymes may act are called what substrates. That's why I said in this other definition that what they modify what substances 
that were known as what as substrates. Okay, so that is the function of enzymes. Enzymes they are what biological catalysts. You must take note of what of these. They are biological what catalysts. They speed up what chemical what reaction by lowering the reaction's activation what energy. Okay, by modifying what simple substances that are known as what as substrates. Okay, and how does this happen? It happens in a series of processes. Okay, so number one, uh, the substrate goes to what to the active site of the enzyme okay that is the first step the substrate goes to the active site of the enzyme okay let me just put that down so okay for the first um uh for the first step in this reaction the substrate which is to be modified the substrate goes to the active so let's say this is the enzyme okay something like this okay and yeah let's say here is the active site active site Okay, so the substrate comes to this what active site of what of this what enzyme. Okay, so in the next case, what happens is that what now the enzyme and the substrate they will bind together. Okay, let's say this is the substrate somewhere here, yeah, something like this. Okay, so it comes to the active site of what this enzyme or this enzyme in the first step. In the second step, the enzyme and the what and the sub and the what and the substrate they will bind together in what we call enzyme substrate complex okay so in the second stage the what this uh, substrate and this enzyme they will bind together they will join together in what to call what the enzyme substrate what complex that is what the second step now in the third step the enzyme what we do is magic okay it will break down what the substrate okay to break down break down what the substrate into what into simple what molecules okay and then uh, it will now form what a product okay so in the first stage what is happen, happening is that what is that the enzyme is releasing it's releasing what the product that is now what formed the new product that's what now formed and then it is now waiting again for another what substrate to what to come so that it can act on it so it's a process that what that is continuous okay and it is very important to know that what that enzymes they are specific in action they are specific in action all right so take note of that i'll explain more on it when we start talking about the characteristics of what of of enzymes okay but that is what enzymes are we say they are what they are biological what catalysts they speed up what chemical what reaction by lowering the reactions activation energy modifying what substances that are known as what are substrates and then it forms what what to call what products all right so that's what i'm saying what uh the substance that is modified are called what the substrate and then convert the substrate into different molecules that are known as what as products okay substrates are modified to now give us what products okay please take note of that it's very very important so now we're talking about uh characteristics characteristics of what of enzymes characteristics of enzymes then number one we say they are specific in action they are specific in action for example lactase Lactase is an enzyme, okay, that what breaks down lactose. That breaks down what lactose. Okay. If you are saying that they are specific in action, it means that what that this lactase cannot go and what act on sucrose. Okay. It means that this lactase cannot act on what? On maltose. Okay. It must act on what? On lactose only it can only act on what on lactose. They are specific in action. Okay, we have three main classes of what of enzymes, which we are going to talk about based on the type of what uh the type of food they break down. Okay, or that they act on. Okay, like for example, we have protease. Protease acts on what on proteases act on only proteins alone. So proteases cannot go and act on what on 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 a, on a, any other different thing apart from protein. Okay, so they are specific in action. They are specific in what in action. Okay, so please take note of what of that. Now we say they remain chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. They are catalysts. They are just there to what to speed up the what the what the reaction. Okay, they remain chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. You must take note of what this characteristics of what of enzymes. And by the way, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very wrong. Okay, and you are surely trying to what make other students not to be able to access this video by not liking it so liking the video will give this video more visibility so please click on the like button share this to your class groups to your friends and loved ones let them join us in our classes to succeed now 
they remain chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. We say they are specific in action also. Then three, you say enzymes are required in small amounts. Okay, they are required in small amounts. Take note of that. And enzymes act best over a narrow range of temperature. Okay, and are usually denatured at very high temperature okay they act best over a wide range of temperature and are the nature the nature mean destroyed they are destroyed okay when they are exposed to too so much high temperature they become what destroyed okay they are denatured they are destroyed at what very high temperatures okay and also they are ph specific they are pH specific. They act best at a certain level of pH. Okay? They are pH specific and they act best at a certain level of pH. Likewise, they are retarded by poisons or in, in bitter, just as what uh, high temperature denatures them or destroys them. Okay? Poison. Or inhibitors make them what to be retarded. All right. Then, of course, most enzyme reactions are irreversible. They are what is irreversible. Another Characteristic I didn't put down yes that they are what they are soluble. They are soluble. Enzymes are what are what soluble. Okay, they are soluble. All right. Now, let us see three main classes of what of enzymes based on the uh, uh on on the on the on what they what on what on the food they what they act on. Okay, three main classes of what of enzyme based on the food that they what that they act on. Okay, based on the type of food substances that they act on. All right. Number one. We have one we call lipases. We have one we call lipases. Lipases. Lipases acts only on fats and oil. You see, we say that what well, the enzymes are specific in action. Okay, lipases only act on what? On fats and oils. Okay, they act. They act on fats and oils, and then they convert this fat and oils to fatty acids and glycerol. They convert them to fatty acids and glycerol. An example of this is what is stepsin. Stepsin. Okay, this is an example of what of uh, of what of a, of of of, uh, of an enzyme that would act on what on what on fat and what on oils. All right, stepsin. All right, so lipases they act on what on fat and oils, and they convert those fat and oils into fatty acids and what and glycerol. An example is what is stepsin. Okay, then also we have another one we call amylases. All right, this is lipases. Then the second class is what one we call amylases. Number two, amylases. Okay, this one they act on what on carbohydrates. They act on carbohydrates. Okay, they act on what on carbohydrate alone. All right, so please take note of that. That is what amylases. The first one is what is lipases. The second one is amylases. The last one is what is proteases. Okay, so you can use what this to what to easily remember them. L A P lap. Okay, you can use your lap to remember what them. All right, an example of this one is what is tyaline. Okay, tyaline. Okay, it's tyaline. All right, this one is fine. What it is is fine. What in the pancreas? Okay, that it releases what pancreative or juice. Okay, so that is what amylases, the second what class of what of enzyme based on what on the kind of food substances that they can act on. All right, then last one we now have what proteases. That one is for what for for they act on protein proteases. Then I have proteases. Okay, this one the word they act on. Protein, okay, and of course, uh, example of this is what is pepsin, okay, pepsin, okay, it's as a, it's, an, it's an example of what of what of uh, of a of uh, of one that acts on what on protein, okay, that is what pepsin. All right, so we have seen three classes: the first one, lipases; the first one, second one, amylases; the third one, what uh, uh, proteases, okay, proteases act on protein, uh, amylases act on carbohydrate. Uh, lipases they act on fat and oils and convert them to fatty acids and glycerol. Okay, so it has been kind of a very, very eventful and enjoyable class. We'll go to the other school jump up now, answer the question we have before us, and then we are done with this class. Now, let us see the question 2022 number 35. It says, Enzymes have the following characteristics, except A, they say enzymes are soluble, enzymes they are soluble, yes, okay. I think I talked about that. They are soluble. Okay, B, enzymes are insoluble. Enzymes are not insoluble. So B should be very wrong. C, say they are specific in their action. Yes, enzymes are specific 
in their action okay and then enzymes are sensitive to temperature okay that's why they act best over a narrow range of water temperature and are denatured at what at high temperature please take note of this this denaturing is some is is okay it's a kind of question an examiner know what to want to ask you okay they are denatured at what at high temperature all right so please uh thank you so much for joining us all right make sure you want to download the application and show you what to you you activate it and ensure you, you continue what your study you do not have time time is something you do not have a luxury of so please make best use of your time my name is master t all right the grand commander of this army and i'll see you in the next episode all right thank you for joining me